Well, today we're going to do a little bit of Hillbilly CSI. But before that, I'm going to tell you the story of Thunder Road. So let me tell you a story. I can tell it all about a mountain boy who ran illegal alcohol. His daddy made the whiskey, the son, he drove the loads. And when he would go by, it sounded like thunder on Thunder Road. Sometimes into Nashville and sometimes Memphis town. The revenues, they chased him, but they could not track him down. Each time they thought they had him, his engine would explode. And he'd go by like they were standing still on Thunder Road. Son, his daddy told him, make this run your laps. Your tank is filled with hundred proof, you're all tuned up in gas. Don't take any chances if you can't get through. I'd rather have you back again than all that mountain do. Roaring out of Harlan, revving up the hill. He shot the gap at Cumberland and screamed through Maynardsville. With G-men on his taillights and rope blocks up ahead, that mountain boy took roads that even angels feared to tread. Well, he left the road at 90, that it's all there is to say. The mountain got the moonshine in that mountain boy that day. So, was the mountain boy guilty or not guilty? Well, his dad says he was just carrying a little bit of Mountain Dew, a little bit of soda pop. And he was chased down by those revenuers and G-men and FBI guys. But was he really? Or maybe he was carrying moonshine, illegal liquor. Oh my gosh. So was he guilty or not guilty? And how would you know? Well, I just happened to have a sample out of his tank, now, out of his gas tank, but out of the other tank that he was had in the back of his, uh, out of his Ford. So let's take a look at this. How would you possibly know if this was moonshine or just Mountain Dew soda pop? Well, it's, the color's right for Mountain Dew. I guess we could taste it. Mm, but maybe we don't know what it is. That could be, well, that could be fatal. Maybe we could smell it. Oh, remember, you want to waft? Hmm, well, maybe I don't want to smell it. I could do the density, but what if it's a mixture? Hmm, you know, if it was, let's say, moonshine and Mountain Dew, density might not help. Boy, is there any other tests we could do? Well, we could see if it burns. Well, that might help. I don't know. Well, actually, I do have a test we could do. Uh, liquids usually have what we call a unique boiling point. And so when a liquid turns into a vapor or a gas, that temperature is kind of a telltale sign, an identification mark. And we could, we could do that with this. So let me walk you through this. We're going to do the boiling point. Now, if this thing boils at 78 degrees Celsius, we know there's alcohol in it, and the, and the mountain boy was guilty. If it boils at 100 degrees, well, then he was innocent. Okay, so let's do a little CSI work and let's see what happens. First of all, you definitely want to wear your goggles for this lab, okay? Everybody has to wear goggles. You're gonna get a thermometer, a ring stand, a clamp, a test tube, a sample, and an alcohol burner, and some matches. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna set our our uh, test tube at just about the right height for our alcohol burner. Uh, looks like I'm gonna have to raise that up just a little bit. Okay, that looks great. And then I'm gonna fill this about, oh, about a third full with our sample. Okay, that looks like about right. And then you're gonna put your test tube in here. And then every 30 seconds or so, I want you to record the temperature on your thermometer. Now remember, if it boils at 38, or excuse me, 78, he was guilty. If, he, if it boils at 100, then he was innocent. So get your stopwatch ready, and light that, and let her go. Okay, remember to clean up and fill out your, your lab sheet and graph your temperatures. Good luck. Thank you.